It's here. Hi everyone, it's Holly. Welcome back to my channel. The curriculum I ordered is from a Becca and I ordered the second grade curriculum uh, for homeschool. And so this is an unboxing so you can see what is actually sent in these boxes and how they package everything. So I hope you enjoy the video and thanks so much for watching. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up um, anytime during the video and comment below if you'd like to see in greater detail any of the materials because this is just basically an unboxing so you can just see exactly what they are sending. I hope you guys enjoy the video. The Becca curriculum came really well organized and put together and shrink wrapped and it was really nice that they kept the material together. So the parent kit was kept together in one box and the student material was shrink wrapped and all together in another box. And you can see how nicely they wrap everything and have it presented for you to easily sort through and separate. Now one of the extra things I ordered was the art projects for my second grader and my kindergartner. I did do a video on kindergartner and I'll link it here so you can click it on it and check that video out. But back to second grade, um, here are the two sets that were sent to me and we're going to sort through them and kind of show you what they all included. So the grade two essentials parent kit is what I ordered. The add-ons are extra. I didn't add anything extra except for the art which you just saw. But this is the language arch, the arithmetic, and the history, science, and health uh, curriculum guide. So you can really see how big they are um, just through this little corner flip through that I did. Um, I'm familiar with it because we did use Rebecca last year. And so this reading comprehension is actually something new that they came out with. So I'm excited to dig into this and uh, see what this is all about. Um, but this is the parent-teacher key. I know it looks like they give you a ton of parent resources and keys uh, for everything. Uh, it's nice because they just give you the answers for all the worksheets and it allows you to go through and check uh, how well your student and child is doing as they're going through the worksheet. So while at second grade you probably could do it on your own, it's nice to have a key to be a little bit more efficient going through everything. These are some of the tools and resources they sent for the second grade curriculum. And the great thing about these tools is the curriculum guides actually tell you when to pull out what sheets to use. So you don't have to figure out on your own. It tells you everything that you need to do as you're going through things from when you need to do the speed drills, what pages in each of their subjects they should be doing per day. And of course, you can always tweak it and make it work uniquely for your child and have an individual learning plan and cater it to them. The activity book, this is the teacher key for it for uh, science and health. And um, this is also new. We did science, health, and history last year, but we didn't have an activity book. So I think this is gonna be a lot of fun uh, for my daughter. These subjects also come with resources to use in the lesson as well and several teaching charts. So this is everything that comes in the parent kit. Looks like a lot. Most of it will just sit on the shelf until you need it. You're going to primarily use the curriculum guides uh, to get through the lessons each day. Um, but let's move on and look at the child kit and what actually comes for your student. Um, they get their math book and I'll just flip through some of these as I'm showing you them so you can kind of see what the pages look like and what they'd be doing um, in these workbooks. And it's usually a one page, one to two pages a day. I believe math is two pages and language arts is one page. And then test and speed drills, I know for uh, first grade was like once or twice a week. Reading comprehension, here are all the books they're sending for them to be reading through. There's 10 different books to read through. Um, 
they will continue to focus on building vocabulary and phonics. You can kind of see some of the ones that they've sent and they allow you to put them in order so you knew when to read them. The primary Bible and the handbook for reading are duplicates. We had this in our first grade curriculum, but it's going to be nice for me to now be able to hand the book off to uh, my student and then follow along with them with my own copy. Next is your science reader, your health safety and manners, and your history and geography reader. As I mentioned, it does have the activity book. We saw this with the teacher key as well. Um, and it just looks like a lot of fun. Writing with phonics is the handwriting that we chose. Uh, we do cursive right now. We started cursive in first grade. And with the Becca, they actually let you choose manuscript or cursive as early as the kindergarten curriculum. And uh, we had started with second grade in K-4, and so we did cursive for first grade. And this is a language arts book, so this is all their worksheets for grammar and language arts. You can see it's lots of bright colors and it just they do a great job at making it engaging with the colors and the black and white. I think there's a healthy balance between uh, not just being black and white and not being too colorful with the worksheets. And here's a quick glimpse of the Spelling and Poetry workbook. The next thing is the reading and comprehension book, which I'm about to show you. Um, these are the skill sheets. Um, as I mentioned, I am so excited about this. I am noticing that it doesn't have any color in this book, so I'm wondering if part of the lesson is for the kids to color those pages. But here is everything that the student gets, all of their workbooks, all their reading uh, materials that they need. Um, it's a full curriculum. If there's anything specific that you want to see in greater detail, make sure you put it in the comments below. If you haven't already, we'd love for you to subscribe. And thanks so much for watching today, and we'll see you in the next video.